All right, everyone, here we go. One deck for the DF, one deck for the DM. We're going to do a Soulmate Journey update today, which should be a lot easier than the Pisces energies I tried to pull on earlier. I'll tell you what, 10 tries, I think, something like that. My God. Let's do it. Let's shuffle the deck for the DF side. Let's see where we go here. Uh, that Pisces reading I did earlier is technically an all signs reading. Everybody should watch that. It's talking about a new cycle that's coming in at, at, at this eclipse. And I'm pulling this reading right here, this soulmate journey reading, right on top of the eclipse. So I must be crazy. Okay. Well, I am, so that's fine. Uh, shuffle one for the DF here. What's going on in the right now? We're not going to look any long range thing here. We're just going right now. You're all moving at different speeds on your timeline. This reading is timeless. There's a whole playlist of these. Keep that in mind. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. I don't know. The bottom card, the environmental energy around the DF, is my little sad rose here. My rubber rose energy, more like. Um, it's five of pentacles. Um, rubber rose. Page of pentacles. Okay. Um, you run the danger right now of letting the past inform you. I call this a rubber rose energy because my friends and I have a saying we call a rubber rose when you give somebody a rose and they chuck it back at you, right? Somebody says no when you ask them out. So for example, just an example, you don't have to take it literally, okay? I didn't ask anybody out, Steve. I mean, yeah, you sound like that. No, I just mean it, it's sort of, you know, it's an, an epic backfire. Something in your past backfired and you might be letting that inform you, okay? You might be taking the wrong lesson away from that, is what the universe is saying here. Okay, I don't know. We're going to clarify right now. We'll grab the little animal deck and we'll clarify. Let's pull this all on camera. All right, there we go. Let's get that off of there. All right, there you go. Bye-bye. Okay. Page of Pentacles. Why is it here? Tell me about it. Why is it here? How come they might get the wrong lesson? Or should they? Are you going to give them a lesson, universe? What's going on here? Maybe, maybe you're about to learn that you didn't miss out on anything with this side. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Why is the page of pentacles here? Well, the bottom of the deck is the star. That's crossing the center card I'm going to pull, which is red with this. So... The universe is telling you if you do feel you missed out on something or you got a rubber rose, something backfired, right? Didn't go your way, right? It, it actually did. Everything is playing out the way it's supposed to. Things don't always go our way. You got to keep that in mind. Don't, don't. It's not all gloom and doom. I mean, out there in societal energies right now, if things don't go your way, you just claim victory anyway. That seems to be a thing, right? You can't live. That, that's not true. You can't do that. You don't have to do that. There's bigger meanings to things that are happening. Right now, there's a strong ripple effect in play. So keep that in mind. There's bigger shit going on. What's, what's going on here? Temperance. Wow. Um, the truth is making its way to you. Center card. Emperor. Something about... I don't know if this is sending you a new or an old person. Either a new soulmate is coming your way or the old one's coming back. It's kind of both energies here, which means it plays out differently for each of you. It has a lot to do. This is one of only two cards in this deck that has the eclipse on it. Okay? And it doesn't matter whether it's solar or lunar or whatever. It's an eclipse image. It can also be a new moon image. Um, but it's happening here as a result of the eclipse in this cycle. So you're about to find out you didn't really miss out or why something played out the way it did with whoever this is. Okay? All right, well, fine. Let's take that. Uh, let's, uh, why is the temperance here? The hangman. Yeah, it's going to change your, this truth that's coming to you will change your whole perspective on what happened. Okay? This truth that's coming to you will change your whole perspective on what happened. Uh, it's, it's, and that's wonderful. That's terrific. That turns this rose around. Right? Look. It's nice. That, that's celebration. This is not something to celebrate. That is three of cups underneath there. See? So everything's going to be all right. You're fine. All right, let's go. Giant light seer deck. Let's do it. DM side. Let's go. What do you want to tell me about this other side? Obviously, this, this, these readings, everything's tied together, so it's about this. 
So some kind of truth from that. It could be a new soulmate coming your way that makes everything fine and provides you with new perspective that, you know, you can feel like you didn't miss out on an emperor over here on, on one that ran from you if you're banging another one. That's really good, right? I mean, oh, you'd, be, you'd be surprised how fast things feel better, you know? Um, or this, en this energy may be returning. Somebody may be coming back. I don't know. Let's find out. DM side, bottom of the deck is 10 cups. That was there when I first picked up the deck and it came back. All right. All right, okay. What's the base energy? A ten, two, pair of tens. I got a pair of tens. That's a big deal. Um, that's always a big deal in tarot. Because tens are the end and dead end that lead to a new beginning. What's underneath that? What the, what the fuck is that? Oh, the two of pentacles. Oh. Somebody is... Mm, Well, somebody's confused. I'm just trying to figure out. It's very odd because I feel like I need to say, I know it's not true. See, that's the problem. I feel like I need to say that this is the the one who ran from you returning, and you find out that the reason they ran from you was different than what you thought. That's possible, okay? But also, I have to take into consideration. I said that that's not necessarily true. That for some of you, this is a new soulmate coming your way, that makes everything okay. Um, which in that case, this energy would, would read that you're a different type than this person normally goes for. Normally I'd tell you that they're a different type than what you normally go for. No, you're really into this energy if it's a new soulmate. It's just they're, you're a different type than what they usually go for. Let's, let's clarify. Let's see where we're going here. Ten wands. Why is it here? Why is this such a, you know, a burden? Why is it such a, a heavy energy? It's really heavy. That's the heaviest ten of cups I've ever felt. You know, it's like the environmental energy is like a children's birthday party. And this here is, is somebody, a, a, a gloom and doom mopey person showing up. Instead of hiring a clown, you hire some kind of, I don't know, demented artist or something. I don't know. It's really weird. It's just really mopey and dark around an energy that's actually fairly light. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Why? Okay. The bottom is the seven of wands which is defensiveness it's read with the, somebody's defensive to the ten of cups energy on this side um that could be why you figure out that you didn't miss out either way you figure out you didn't miss out on anything over here and that could be why maybe somebody you know you run you could run you could play out a thousand different ways you could run into this person and they're they're they just seem like an asshole they're just defensive you're, you're happy hi how are you nice to see you and they're like yeah, eh, whatever. You know, it's like okay, all right. You know, it can it can play out like that. I don't know. Either way, your perspective on on what the truth is over here about that changes. If this this happened. The sad rose. However, it, whatever it is to you, however it happened, it could be losing a job. It could be losing some money in the stock market. It could be, um, I don't know. It could be love related. Whatever it is. It happened for a reason. It's okay. And when you see that reason, you go, oh, all of a sudden everything's fine. You know, what's on top here? The chariot. Okay, somebody's, the emperor drives the chariot. I got an emperor over here. So this energy's coming your way. I get that. Okay. All right. What's, 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 what's here? Three of cups. I got three of cups under there. So this energy is coming to communicate some sort of emotion to you, some sort of feeling. But the feeling they're communicating, this is all on top of ten wands. Okay. It's very strange. All right. Uh, why is it, what's red with the chariot? The knight of wands. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. I gotta, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to clarify some shit here. All right. Uh, I don't know. I'm being honest with you. I don't know. It's very strange. I get you're okay. I, I kind of like, as I feel this energy, I'm like, yeah, I didn't miss out on anything here. This is a very moody person. They're very moody. Happy. The surrounding energy around them is a children's birthday party. They're a fucking gloom and doom kind of energy. And, and there's like this, there's, here's a, a flighty energy. Here's a determined energy. Here's defensiveness. Defensiveness toward opening up emotionally. Uh, toward any kind of celebration, toward any kind of happiness. It's like a Debbie Downer energy here. Okay? 
I mean, which is a Saturday Night Live character for people that don't know. The last time I said that, somebody wrote in and said, Debbie's are great. Okay. Relax. It's a character. It's called Debbie Downer. She ruins everything when she shows up. Right? Everybody's having a good time and then Debbie Downer shows up. That's all. This person defensive about it. So maybe in this energy, you find out that you didn't miss out on anything. You had it pegged all wrong. You know, that you didn't miss out on anything because this person just won't open up. They just won't admit some things. I don't know. I am going to clarify further. I'm going to do what I rarely do. I'm going to take this Ten of Wands and I'm going to pull three more cards on it right here. Why? Because I fucking feel like it. I don't know. I got another deck here, so what the hell. Um, what else you want to tell me about this person over here? This DM. Tell me about it. Tell me about this energy. Because I know it's coming your way. The chariot proves it. What's going on here? <laughs> They're full of shit. That could be why you find out you didn't miss out on anything here. Okay? They're full of shit. Mm, okay, maybe. I don't know. Seven Cups. King of Wands. There's the Burger King. Gotta have it their way. That's crossed by the Seven of Swords. Okay, alright. And the Ten of Swords. Um, let me pull one more. The Queen of Swords. This is, this is very common. Okay? This, this energy, basically the way this plays out, this energy shows up. And you give them a fair chance. And, and they blow. It's, a, it's an energy of first impressions or everything. Okay? And you're giving this person a chance. If it's the old person who ran from you and is coming back, you're giving them a chance to make a second first impression. And they blow it. They fuck it up. If it's a new person, you're giving them a chance. You're giving them a fair shake. But they seem off. They remind you of something from the past. They remind you of the Burger King. The way they're defensive toward opening up. And you just feel like you're not going to go through that again. But something about it teaches you something. Something about that energy showing up and reminding you of the Burger King. Someone who's defensive about being vulnerable. Someone who's emotionally immature. You see something that you didn't see in the Burger King that teaches you one more thing. That changes your perspective on what happened with the Burger King. And it just... It shows you why it all had to play out. You follow? There's a lot of destiny here. This, this eclipse that I'm pulling this on top of is the corner. The crossroads of destiny, of fate, and karma. So, this makes total sense. This is showing you that crossroads. Okay? Right there. Right here. And if you, did, if you missed what I said just then, rewind to where I'm talking about it. Because it makes sense. It makes perfect sense. It's the only thing that makes sense in this flow of energy. So for a lot of you, this is somebody new showing up. Okay? And that's why we opened with something about the past is, you know, informing you or you're getting the wrong message from it or something. It's somebody new shows up and they remind you of the Burger King. And, and you're like, oh, hell no, I learned that lesson already. I'm not going through it again. And they remind you of the Burger King because they're defensive to opening up. A bit emotionally immature. They come in, they go out, you know, got to have it their way kind of thing. Uh, blah, blah, blah. But there's something about your interaction with this person that ties something else up. That gives you a new perspective on what happened with the original Burger King maybe. Or maybe shows you something about yourself. Either way, it shows you why everything had to play out the way it did. Okay? So it's pretty cool energy. It's re it really is. In, in, in a nutshell. It, it's a cool time. It's a time where we're wrapping up old business. We got an eclipse just before the equinox. The equinox, we're still leading up to it. Wrapping up old business. This kind of shit is happening. Now, am I saying this is going to happen right now? No. There's no time in the energy. I'm not divining too much further out, you know, maybe a month on the top side, but you're all moving at different speeds on your timeline. You may be at a completely different point in the soulmate cycle right now. You got to check the, the playlist, right? See where you're at. But in this case here, that's a solid read, all right? That's what's going on here. Mm -hmm. and that's that's how you read energy. You pull it out bit by bit. It, it's like it's like uh, Sherlock Holmes solving a mystery. If you want to read energy, you want to read people, you want to read a room. You got to take it from a neutral perspective, whether it's a reading or a room or a person. 
You take it from a neutral perspective and you so start asking questions. You sort it out. You deduce what it all means. And I, I love this. This is a perfect flow of that right here. All right, what else you want to tell everybody? Give me three cards and a crossing card. Maybe it wants to talk about you some more because I, I pulled the energy over here. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Page of Swords. Knight of Cups. Star. Yep, wants to talk about, wants to talk to you. The Knight of Cups is crossed by the Nine of Cups. All right? Whatever happens here. Whatever happens here. Nothing, something, what I described, what, what, something slightly different from what I described. Whatever happens here. Okay? Um, this star energy is important. The figuring out, the understanding why it all had to happen, okay, is extremely important. Why did I have to be disappointed? Why does this person keep hanging around, spying on me? Why do I keep thinking about this person? Why did I have to be disappointed? Whatever it is, that energy, the energy of right now, is allowing the energy of something new to come towards you, something that will make you happy, all right? At the end of the day, some of you might realize that you're your own best friend and you don't need anybody else to make you happy. Of course you don't. You need to realize that. But there is something that, that this brings to you. All right. So, And it's important around the star, so I'm going to clarify the star. I'm going to take that out and I'm going to clarify the star real quick. We might as well. Might as well be thorough here. All right. Why is the star here? Why is the star so important? Why is this so important? Now, depending on how good your imagination is and depending on how good of a dreamer you are, maybe on some level imagine how good your, how high your emotional intelligence is, your EQ, you don't need this person to come towards you. These readings can help you just even without that. You can imagine that what I described happens and someone who reminds you of the Burger King shows up and you can still get the same effect. You can still get the same thing. It's just like those, uh, those psychology experiments they did a long time ago with shooting hoops, free throws. They had a guy actually go out and shoot and practice and they had a guy who just practiced in his head. They both did about the same. You know, it, it's the same thing. It, it actually, a lot of it all backs up hologram theory and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, you know, you can also play this out in your head if you want to. But for a lot of you, this is happening in the 3D in real life, okay? But not for all of you. That's not possible, you know. So at the end of the day, it's a way you can pull some lesson here. Uh, the magician. Uh, there's a huge... The star is important because it's, it's causing a transformation, all right? Uh, what's on top? Uh, okay, the star is important because we're moving into a new cycle. And again... Understanding why this had to happen is important for you to move forward confidently with some faith into a new direction. Why is the fool here? The moon. Um, because sometimes the things sometimes the things we don't know can haunt us. This is one of those things that haunts you. There's something else for you to figure out about the Burger King. Okay? There's something else for you to figure out about the Burger King. Either they show up or someone who reminds you of them shows up. Or you imagine that they show up. Or you imagine that someone like them shows up. That's the secret to getting it. Either Any of that can happen. That's tricky. It's tricky to explain. Um, I can hear my friend in my head now. They won't understand. They won't understand. I know. I know. I've done my best. That's the best I can tell you. Watch this reading a few times. It's important that you figure it out. That you have to change your perspective on the way you're looking at something that didn't work out for you. Something that backfired. Something that you thought should have gone your way but didn't. It doesn't have to be a soulmate. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be. You know, but it, you could have been the Burger King in this scenario. Right? A lot of times, one of the greatest lessons in life we can learn is that we don't get things our way. It doesn't happen. Sometimes things don't go our way. Right? When things don't go our way, we don't just claim victory. For no fucking parent reason. When things don't go our way, we don't just take our toys and go home. We don't. Sometimes things don't go our way. It's a lesson we have to learn. Um, you learn that lesson here in some capacity. Okay? That's it. That's what I got. That's your reading. Underneath the magician is the empress. It's all happening to help bring that energy out, to move you into a new cycle. And if you want to know what that new cycle is, go ahead and watch the Pisces reading. I will tell you. 
That is unreal. It's technically an all signs reading. It's the best I can tell you. It's complicated energy right now, you know, but this is what's going on. All right? All right. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, go have your head checked. But if you like this reading, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. Good luck.